just for the record, Mark said it's too early for a gin and tonic, so I might sulk a bit, or I seem like I'm sulking, but I am okay, really. Hello, everybody. Um, this little video is our trek from Ely to Huntingdon, um, 28 miles. Yeah, I've done a canal plan. It said it would take 28, it was 28 miles, five locks, and it would take nine hours 43 minutes and it took us 10 days <laughs> yeah but that's the way <laughs> that's the way we cruise but that's how it's supposed to be yeah so we're yeah. going to condense 10 days into this next mm. next 19 minutes mm. where was we when we left on the last video we was on the loads that's, that's um, it, yeah. we got stuck at reach load yeah if you haven't seen that video yeah it was the last um, video that was sort of like um hairy but uh we on the way back we were going to do what they call wick and load um, but with events occurring yeah everything always changes yeah. I've been contacted by um, a company I do some work for and they just needed somebody for a couple of days um, I'll explain in the video me and my bright ideas oh, a, bit of a bit of a wobbly voice I've uh, had a phone call from the company I do some work for could have helped them out. Uh, they got a couple of days work at school in Whittlesea, some commissioning work. I'm nowhere near Whittlesea, but we was near Ely. So the plan was to get moored up to e in Ely um, and catch the train from Ely to Whittlesea. Plan went awry yesterday, all moorings in and near Ely were taken. So we're about four miles out. So I'm on my trusty, my trusty steed and uh, not too bad a riverbank and no biking oops nearly went there no biking to get the train so I it doesn't rain on the way home and the same tomorrow I'll be a happy bunny well it's day one over with got a headwind I can't believe how much wind resistance a little wave like me causes. Um, I've got no lycra shorts, so I'll be digging my speedos out tonight and shaving my legs for <laughs> make it easier in the morning. I'm about halfway back to the boat. Once I get back to the boat, I then got a cruise back to Ely. I've just checked out there are, well, at the moment, there are some moorings available. Yeah, so hopefully, what's the time now? I'll be back to the boat five, cup of tea, and should be back in Ely by six and a half past. I wonder if she's missed me. That was close, nearly fell off. Deborah. Um, some parcels. We have just spent, I don't know, two and a half, three hours yeah, yeah. with two of the most wonderful people you could ever meet. Fiona and Dave um, from Canada. Yeah, they came over, you'd, I'll have to put the link for the video up here. They came over last last year and uh, brought, brought gifts. And uh, I enjoy, <laughs> enjoyed the beer so much. Um, from his local brewery, he's bought me a case of it. So <laughs> this is this is going to be great. And what else has he bought there, Ron? And Fiona and Dave got me this lovely bottle of gin. Um, it's from their local brewery, Top Shelf, um, forty percent. And I can't wait because it has got cardamom, um, grapefruit peel licorice root um so it, it sounds like it's a, a really tasty and also guess what the real mccoy maple syrup i've got dark and i've got very dark and we've been advised to use that with 
bacon and pancake mix. So I'm going to do that. That'll be in another vlog. Yes. <laughs> have come all the way from Canada and they've, they've been halfway around the UK with Dave and Fiona. Yes. Devon, Cornwall, Somerset, uh, Peak District. London. Yeah, London. Yeah. Wow, I'm going to enjoy this. There you go. To, get, the to get to sit in the, the bear chair, all you need to do is come all the way from Canada <laughs> and bring bear and then you get to sit in the chair. <laughs> So um, before we left Ely, after Mark had done his couple of days work, we um, went to Audi. To get some carbs, I needed to carb up after that bike, <laughs> bike ride. And then we left to get um, go on to the Old West. Yeah, yeah. which is, to... yeah, the, it's still the River Great Ooze, but they actually call it the Old West. Old West. Yeah, I didn't know that yeah, until Mark told then me. That takes you all the way down to our final destination Bedford when we'll get there I don't know no no we didn't get very far no um but but they are lovely mooring so it's worth a stay for yeah, a couple a of good, days a good 600 yards down to <laughs> old west and the, the, the moorings were there and it's just a case of we we have a plan roughly where we want to be but if we see nice moorings along the way and the was, weekend was on its way so we, we thought well we'll stay there and, and it's nice and quiet we so. just stopped up with plenty of barbecue food. We yeah. did. We had a wonderful weekend. It, it was, there. yeah. It yeah, did have a yeah. wonderful weekend. A bit of a boozy barbecue weekend, that one. <laughs> well, we're now officially heading down the Old West. Is that what it's called? Yes, yeah. Uh, just seen the sign 19 miles to St Ives. Yeah. Yeah, so our final destination along this bit will be the furthest navig navigatable bit, which is Bedford. Navigatable. Yeah, yeah. Don't know how long it will take. Digital. Yeah. So if you're watching this, we've done the, we've done the Cambridge, we've done the loads. I've done back to Ely um, from a two days work, and um, yeah, now we're just off on our jollies again. So try and make it interesting for you. Uncharted waters. Yeah, uncharted waters. We do love waters. a challenge. Just looking out for all the boats, just in case there's that old uh, garden or Russell Newbury. Don't want to look at any of those wide beams. Don't want to deb get our heart set on one of those, do we? Now, who do you think, uh, if you'd seen the video the other week, saying that those are the two boats on our radar, who do you think is actually gonna gonna win this little one? <laughs> I know I want to win. We've got a sneaky, a sneaky it's suspicion. Whatever comes along yeah, first. a sneaky suspicion who will win. Yeah, so we didn't get very far round the corner. We literally come past the marina under the bridge and moored up here. This is Goldsmere EA moorings. I assume most of you remember my shop and trolley from uh, many trips it's, or many videos that it's uh, starred in. I think uh, my daughter bought me that the Christmas of 2018. Yeah, so it's done very well, but it's not very well at the moment. Let me show you. Yeah, noticed on the last trip out we're actually missing missing a bolt through here now I've had a rummage round in my man cave can't find anything so what I'll have to do is uh, get something ordered off of Amazon or whatever pick up from Amazon locker but we need to use the trolley in the meantime so I've just come up with a little idea that we'll probably get one trip out of us yeah I've, um, what I've got is a, a drill bit to go through there and then to secure that to stop that flopping about I'm gonna secure a crimp on either end now that should it's not going to be a permanent fix that's soon gonna vibrate and come off but that should um, see us for one shopping trip
on there. Hopefully that last one shop and trip by which time I'll have a new nut and bolt to go through there. And um, just had tickety boo, narrowboat tickety boo passes. Um, can't remember the the couple on the boat, but they've been messaging me. Knew I was in the area, hoping to see us. So they'll probably see us on more up with us on their return trip. Right, where we're heading to, Deborah? Um, we're going to try and head for Hermitage Lock, 11 miles. Um, that will be the longest trek we've done in a, in a while um, because we haven't actually got very far from the last time just yeah. just before that bridge when you last saw us we were just <laughs> the other side of that bridge so we've moored up here for a couple of days yeah. it's been a nice yeah. uh, Queen's Jubilee weekend lots of people out celebrating um, yeah. yeah so there is a there's another pumping station museum literally well I'll get some footage of it as we pass and it's open every third Sunday every fifth millennia so <laughs> unfortunately um, we'll try and get in there on the way back but if yeah. not we'll definitely get to the one I mentioned in one of the other videos the prick willow one yeah but um, so we're on our way it's a little bit chilly not too bad well I've, the shorts have gone in and the yeah. trouser and the long sock has come out so you know yeah. that's a little bit chilly apart from me because he was getting dressed up to be warm and I was having a flush so it's actually wonderful yeah, weather so, for me yeah so Deb was well warm <laughs> so we'll see if we can get some footage along the way managed to pick a day when the uh, pumping museum is open you've got goba moorings along here 48 hour moorings so you can moor up and then visit at your leisure providing you're on the right Sunday in the right year <laughs> So we've just come round the corner. Very sharp corner. Yeah, sharp corner, lazy, lazy otter. Um, I'm not sure whether that's the name of the pub or the marina. Yeah. And then uh, it just, it narrows. Yeah, very, very narrow. Yeah, it's like being back on a canal again. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know whether the camera actually picks it up, but very, very shallow for such a wide section of river. Yeah. Uh, but from the bank, the, the sort of the, I don't know what the technical term is, the ledge, the shelf, just tapers off very, very gently. So even four four foot from the bank, you're still only like two foot deep. If that, I Yeah, if that. Well, there's some boys um, here um, marking. Yeah, and you, you're lucky if that's a foot and a half deep there. Mm. So be warned. Well, we're in Hermitage Lock started to rain hence the coat and it's quite a big lot I'll see if I can find the actual dimensions
Well, we've come through Hermitage Lock and we're on the EA 48 hour moorings, which is always a little bit confusing because the 48 hour moorings is also the uh, facility for the pump out and the water point. So I'm assuming anybody wants to use it, you just berth up, they're quite welcome to. Uh, but it can cause confusion because people get a little bit irate. You shouldn't be on the water point. Um, well, the water point just happens to be on the 48 hour moorings, so hey ho. Well, that was a chilly couple of days. And and wet, yeah, just, just wet and chilly, fire on, um, hunkered down. We were, we were at Erie EA moorings. Um, this pontoon has got a pump out, and but it doesn't say that it's got water as well on the Gober moorings map. But it, it has, so, yeah, because so we, that's we an added was, bonus. As we always do, planning our uh, water fill-up points. And it was we, a, we were getting a bit worried, yeah. It, yeah. Was a, it was a bonus that there was water here. There's yeah. two, two taps, one for the pump out and then one, one for drinking water. Yeah. So. Um, nobody berthed up next to us, which we was um, quite surprised, really. Yeah. A few boats went past, but obviously with uh, limited moorings, we've got one boat behind us that's been here for the two days we've been here but no no sign of them all a little bit fierce we've had quite a bit of rain the last two days so feel it pushing the boat to the left or to port but nothing too drastic right just entered St Ives lock and it's quite a wide lock so you'd get a few cruisers in here or a couple of narrow boats and at that end <laughs> Dave's just pointed out looking very dismayed manual gates so gonna have to use a windlass first time since last year well I wasn't quite prepared for that that one threw me about um, I think my advice would be get to the side get your rope round a bollard rather than trying to uh, do it just with your years of experience because it doesn't always work get some bad looks off Deb we'll have to go in and see if anything has fell off any of the shelves um, and we were a little bit anxious about the moorings that were available in St Ives the ones we particularly wanted everybody seems to post um, the same photo of the the town moorings just before the bridge make mm. some beautiful photos and they were beautiful photos but quite disappointing yeah. really right now approaching the moorings and it looks like happy faces all round Looks like this availability. Availability, yeah. So we can get moored in St Ives, and then we can go to Aldi or Aldi's with an S, as I like to call it, and stock up. Well, we've been here an hour. We've been in two mooring spots and now we're going to moor somebody else. Too many crazy people feeding the birds and we're getting bombarded by pigeon poo, gull poo. Um, but yeah, just through here, through the bridge that I'm pointing to that you can't see, um, 
there's some more moorings so yeah was moored there uh, behind my ear was moored up there and now going to mooring number three Well, that's under the bridge, Deborah. Yeah, and if you can see the bridge, if Mark just moves his head, yeah, and then if he just pans along there, and then the other way, and you can see that is actually an archway, and these have got points. There is a story behind it, and I will research that story and tell you about it. Something to do with Oliver Cromwell. Oh, it's an oldie then. Did you go to school with him? And we had been looking for the EA moorings, which should have been a little bit out of town. And if you look between me and Deb, uh, so about 100 metres past past the bridge there on port side. Uh, but the moorings we're now going to are just through there. Um, there is a winding hole at the bottom, although it looked, it looked a bit tight for a 60 foot boat. So we'll go in there and it's just a short way to reverse out. Uh, yeah. uh, beautiful moorings. Yeah. They are a little bit high and something has actually happened to those moorings in the last four weeks. When we um, arrived there, the very first mooring on the left, it said this was a disabled mooring yeah. um, because it's lower mm. um, so you can get on and off the boat. We moored the, there. Uh, Deb's not officially um, disabled but she does suffer with her feet and the arthritis but if somebody come along with a genuine disabled badge I don't you know moved. whether you get them for boats or more we would have moved on and Deb would have had to stay on the boat we've since been back to those moorings and they've changed the sign it's now a disembark it's please don't moor here this is a um, embark and disembark point for disabled yeah um, so if we was to go there again, I'd have to go there, get Deb off the boat, move the boat forward to where Deb couldn't get on the boat, so she'd want to get back on the boat, so I'd have to move the boat back to the disabled disembark, embark point for her to get back on the boat to moor to where she can't get off the boat. So, yeah, maybe yeah, they'll re confused. reword this sign in the future. Yeah. I think an awful lot of the moorings in the towns are um, aimed at cruisers more than narrow boats i think um you know because they are quite high and i i can't get out for love nor money you know i can't not even with mark sitting on mark's shoulders and giving me a hook yeah if, <laughs> if it had been actually higher and it, the roof was level i could have got you on the roof put the plank and then sort of rolled you <laughs> on the plank and onto the grass yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a downward bit you know get you rolling down <laughs> but we'll, we'll have to try that yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, there's a an Audi at uh, St Ives. Um, I didn't realise it was it was actually quite was a walk. Quite it was a walk, half yeah. an hour walk. It was really hot as well, weren't it? Um, so we decided what we'd do is walk there and taxi back, which was ideal. Which meant I didn't get to no, test get my to temporary fix on my trolley. Yeah, no, but. It, it was a fair, fair walk, yeah. so... Uh, four quid for the taxi. Yes. Which, which weren't bad. No, yeah. we was quite surprised. Yeah, but there is... Is there a Waitrose closer? Yeah, there is a Waitrose. Waitrose, and up near Aldi's, the other end of the town, there's also a... Morrison's. Morrison's as well. Yeah. yeah so, so yeah, there's lots of choices. Choice, yeah. yeah. Lots of uh, 
cafes and pubs. It's barbers, a lovely little place. Barbers and Chinese <laughs> yeah. takeaways. Yeah, which yeah. is really, is, if you ever go there, you'll walk through and you'll, you'll see yes, barbers, Chinese takeaway bar. Barbers, Chinese, are, yeah. yeah, quite a lot of barbers. Yeah, but it's but a nice little town. Didn't, didn't everything you need. Yeah, everything you need. So well, we, yeah, we, we spent a couple of days there, didn't yeah, we? And yeah. then the right time to leave. Yeah, I think we had one, one night on the weights. Yeah, one night on the weights. And then... Oh, move around yeah because although they are nice mornings they do get quite busy um there's a few little park benches there people come to feed the ducks and bits and pieces have their lunch um have affairs <laughs> yeah yeah i uh, shan't, shan't no, we shan't say anything about that <laughs> and then um we moved on to the little mark went for a walk and saw this field um it's another goba mooring called noble's field oh that was lovely yeah absolutely you, you'll now see To Deborah, we are off to Huntingdon. Um, we've just been in St. Ives, so we're now on our way to Huntingdon, five miles roundabout, um, two locks, and they've got a water point. Three, I think it's three, isn't it? In a moorings along the side there, there's some, yeah, and along the way, there's some goba moorings. Yeah. So, depending on what the moorings are like that we pass, yeah, we might backtrack and once uh, we've done all our bits yes yeah, nice secluded moorings for the weekend don't really want to be in the towns no don't like weekends. being where it's busy so yeah. so i mean we we've got to go into the town to get water i mean this this morning here has been absolutely yeah. I, apart from being very windy i want to take the drone up get some nice drone footage but it's been so windy and i nearly lost it the other day i'll tell you that story when we sat down at the dinette sometime it has been very windy i mean it's still the next few days are going to be blustery as well yeah so, so i'll have to get me over there, i think with this <laughs> this wind um yes yeah, so we'll see if we can get some footage along the way and um, meet you when we get to huntington yeah this bridge Deborah <laughs> Cromwell Bridge <laughs> we, we've had a few attempts at yeah. each okay. doing the doing the bridge and we keep um, forgetting all the important facts right when was the bridge originally built the bridge was originally built in 1425 and it remained in a gothic style and it remained like that until 1625 who was 45 1645 who was a, get it right who was a nasty man who knocked it down Oliver Cromwell he demolished it on the south side it was just the south the south section yeah and, and in, put a drawbridge yeah up. And that was in 1645 wasn't it yeah, yeah. and put a drawbridge up to which stop. was yeah just sorry to stop king charles the first coming to london from lincolnshire but um it stayed the drawbridge stayed in place until 1716 when they decided to rebuild the bridge but rather than rebuild it the same they've got like Obviously, the, you've gothic arches have got your points on them, yeah. and they were the 
they didn't do that when they rebuilt it so you've got two just normal arches so um that's the story behind it and that's debbie's fact of the video sorry you're looking forward not... to doing a weekly uh, weekly oh, fact gosh. yeah i'm not very good at yeah. doing that sort of thing yes yeah. particle science next week <laughs> Yes, so I think that has taken up enough of your you lovely people's time. Yes, sorry about that. It's, yeah. It is quite a, a a long one. Yeah. As as always. Oh, I thought you were going to say something. I wasn't even going to say so. You, you dirty. normally do. <laughs> as 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 we always always say. Oh. Um, everybody who supports us over on Patreon and PayPal, thank you yes, so, thank so, you much. so, so much. Um, if you, you want to know how to support the channel, links are in the description below. I'm not going to waffle on about that. Um, and that is it, really. Yeah. Yeah. If you enjoyed this little video, and press the like button. If you haven't already subscribed, press the subscribe button. If you want future notifications of any other videos we upload, the bell icon. And keep your comments coming. Yeah, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.